Hello there, I have mined Ethereum for about 24 hours using one graphics card. That graphics card being the G GTX 1060. Well, it is overclocked, it's not a very high overclock. So, yeah, let's get started. So, you can see that I've made 0 0.02042 Ethereum over about 24 hours. It's not exactly 24 hours. You'll see I've started and stopped a few times, but it is 24 hours. About. It's around 25, but we'll go with 24. So, what we can do to find out the amount of Ethereum we've made is multiply the value of Ethereum. So, Ethereum <laughs> value. So, if we search that up, we can get the exact value currently which appears to be 315, right? Yep. Oh, 317. So if you search up, or if you load up a calculator, such as, like I am, <laughs> so if we type in the value, 317.91, so now, if we multiply that by the amount of Ethereum I have, which is 0.02042, you can see that I've made six dollars. While that is good for <laughs> mining for 24 hours, is that profitable in terms of electricity used? So there are these nice Ethereum calculators. You can just pretty much search up Ethereum calculator and wait for it. See how much um, and see how much money you're going to make. So if you search up GeForce and go to their website, um, you can then choose your graphics card. You don't have to choose the graphics card. But this is just going to get us the more accurate um, power consumption. So this, generally on these websites, they're going to tell you the max uh, power usage consumption. So, you know. So it says here, that's the recommended system power but the graphics card power is only 120 watts so for my graphics card it's 120 which is half of what they actually or of what we had in there now you're probably not going to want that on Terra hash now if we go back to not that page this page we can see that I mine at about 19 um, megahertz or something <laughs> the average is not accurate at all. Because you'll see the reported hash rate in the green is about 20. So we'll just say 19.7 because that's probably more accurate. So 19.7 and you'll see $90 per month. So if we look at the average power cost, it's about 12 cents. So now if we enter in 12 cents, that's fairly cheap. So or it's, you're still making quite a bit of money, but if you live in a place like where I do, oh, not <laughs> where you only pay about six cents a kilowatt, you're gonna make quite a bit more. Like I think, I think Washington has fairly cheap power, so you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, and even if you have thirty cent power, you're still gonna make money off of it because it's just such an easy thing to mine. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Goodbye.